But first, we are going to hunt these owls. Come on, stop. Stop flying. Forget about traveling light. I kind of want that one. Uh, let's see. I can actually hear... Ah, there you are. No! No! Yes! It's green. It's a bone. And we have that. Great. It's done. That felt good. Okay, yeah, that was not a lot of hunting, luckily. Uh, yeah, that's an animal figurine, but I haven't finished all of them. I haven't been up here, but I guess um, that's the pigment. And I haven't gotten all of them anyway, so I can get to that guy later. Let's do this mission. Did I get a skill point by the way? No, I didn't. I think I found one of the hunters. Wait, do I need to kill all of these machines? Like, really? Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so... <sighs> Damn. Metal too. But my need is greater. The Banuke don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. Okay. Here we go. We can take them down.
Come on. It flew away. Is that all of them? You fight well. I am Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg to sending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Wera before they leave. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my Lynn went. I was her shadow on the snow, and she was mine. To be a runner with the White Teeth was everything to her. You know this, my Lynn, well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rockfall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland, some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck, which led them up into Banor. Well, that's the story I learned anyway. So let's get her back to the Warwick. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. Well, she has to follow. I mean, it would be stupid to stay out here. I'll tuck that away. I gotta need to keep uh, keep reminding me that I need to buy more health potions. Come. Up. That's where we're going. Frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things, but it won't have her. Not if we can help it. More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Let's see how much this will hurt. Ooh, it 
that did hurt. We never stood a chance against you. Scrappers! In thin air, they spill metal for miles. Glad to have you beside me, Aloy. <laughs> One shot. Damn, this bow is amazing. Let's split their metal. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. And there we go. This won't be easy, Aloy. Oh no, 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 no. Not them. Oh no, this. Okay, gotta tear blast them. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna need to change weapons. Actually, let's. Give this one a shot. Give it some fire. Maybe not good against those that... Um, are not weak against fire. Go for the rope caster then. Okay, let's take a look at you. We have something. Power generator. Let's get rid of that. Can we get rid of it? There we go. Hurry, hurry. Be quick. Turn around. It's gonna need to stay out of its side. Well, not stand in front of it, rather. Okay, let's see. Let's load this one up. Let's load this one up. Okay, it's frozen. This one is really. There we go. We did it. They are really tough. Like, really.
can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this lake. She is awake. Miss Outlander. You brought her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you, the ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive. Which would you rather keep, my Lynn? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. We can barely walk. No! Let me do this. Please. Letter. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? Warwick. That I fell. And that she endured. Will you? But I don't want to do that. That is madness. The White Teeth's test did change something in me. In us both. Yeah, you, you just lost all your senses. That's what happened. This wind isn't gentle. Okay, let's go back here. Let's, let's just fast travel. Oops. My Len has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. You put her through this ordeal. She gave up everything for your rules. She refused aid, just like you taught her. Walked back on a ruined leg. Left a friend behind. She passed the test. That's my word. Are you questioning it? My coldness to bring forth such heat? It must be the truth you speak. The White Teeth shall accept her. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... Gone. She sounded brave. Her name will always be in my song. Oh, you. You, you fake. Why oh, are you so disgusting? It is 
long road back to the Black Hills of our home. It was a good speech. But I didn't give up everything. I could have laid down and died. I know. You survived. I did more than that. I kept to the law. Don't you see? Ikri was my only friend, and she could have died. You could have too. All for my mistake. The law of survival would not allow such a waste. It makes us strong and cold. It challenges us to leave friendship behind. I grew up with laws like that. They brought me nothing but pain. Did you believe in them? <laughs> That's what I thought. This is my choice. My pain. Hmm. The white teeth are my future now. I'm grateful to you. But we've nothing more to speak of. You should have died on top of that mountain. You're lying. Let's see now. Somebody wanted in. He really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened to you when you start the water flow? Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. This is probably not good with another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Hard to hmm. see anything, but this room looks like it's packed with old stuff. Might be something useful. Right. And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. I should be able to shut this place down from here. Oh, someone made a mess of this. No. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How does this happen? Okay. Go to dam. Do I need to go outside? Or... No, uh... Osaram must have forced his way through here. Yeah, you have. Maybe I will just leave you there.
You don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. When the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate... Looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. A mirror. These looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. It's a mirror. You caused a flood because of a mirror. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay. Mirror. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. I like this guy's spirit. <laughs> He's... He has a lot of energy, I tell you that. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? 